Hey guys, so for today's reading, Monday, we're going to read, or I'm going to read, and you're going to follow along, um, Dinosaurs, written by Jay Johnson and illustrated by Greg Harris. Millions of years ago. You see a lot of dinosaurs in movies and on TV shows, but do you think those are real dinosaurs? Real dinosaurs are extinct. That means they are dead and gone forever. Dinosaurs were animals in the same big group as birds and crocodiles. They lived on Earth a very long time ago, way before people. So here's today. Here's where the different periods are. So this is Jurassic period, 208 million years ago. The Cretaceous period, 140. Four million years ago, that's what MYA stands for. Dino basics. Dinos lived 65 to 225 million years ago. Dinosaur means terrible lizard. I didn't know that, did you know that? Terrible lizard, it's fascinating. Rocky records. How do we know dinosaurs really lived on Earth? Scientists called paleontologists study fossils. Fossils are the remains of things that lived millions of years ago. These remains have become part of rocks buried in earth, the earth. There are many fossils of dinosaur tracks, bones, skin, and even eggs. In fact, scientists find a new dino fossil about every six weeks. Over 700 kinds of dinosaurs have been identified. Most of them have been found in the past 25 years. Dinosaur meals. Mm. Most kinds of dinosaurs ate only plants. Many of them had gigantic bodies with huge stomachs, and some had long necks to reach leafy treetops. Other kinds of dinos ate only meat. Lizards, insects, and other dinosaurs, most meat eaters ran on two feet rather than four. They were fast runners, which helped them catch their dinner. Some meat eaters were big, but some were small as chickens. Few kinds of dinosaurs ate both meat and plants. They liked variety. The Allosaurus. The Allosaurus was fierce. It was one of the biggest, strongest meat eaters of its time. It had large teeth with edges like saw blades. Its head was as big as a first grader. Whoa, that doesn't seem that big. <laughs> Some people believed that Oh, just his head was as big as a first grader. I just had to reread that. Some people believe that Allosaurus looked for food, usually other dinosaurs, in a group of hunters called a pack. So Allosaurus lived 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period, and there's been fossils found in Colorado, that's here, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, and New Mexico, and they eat meat. The dinosaur weighed up to two tons. It was about 35 feet long and nine feet tall at the hips. The big dude. The Brachiosaurus. Like the giraffe, this dinosaur had long front legs and a super long neck so it could nibble leaves from the highest tree branches. Its head rose up to 60 feet off the ground. That's as high as a four-story building. Can you think of a four-story building in Cortez? Four-story building. I can't think of one in Cortez. So it's taller than the buildings in Cortez. That's really tall. Maybe the hotels, they might have four stories. One. This four-legged dinosaur was a giant weighing up to 80 tons. Brachiosaurus grew on amazing 100 feet long. The length of three of these dinosaurs would equal one football field. Whoa. The Brachiosaurus may have had a good sense of smell because it had huge nostrils. Don't see nostrils here. Oh, because their nostrils were on top of their head. Right there. That's new information to me. Did you know that? So it lived 150 million years ago, also during the Jurassic period. So it was hanging out with that Allosaurus. And they have found fossils here in Colorado, in Wyoming, in Europe, and in Tanzania, which is like way down here in Africa. It eats plants, so if you run into one of those, you'd be okay. Stegosaurus. 
the stegosaurus had a tail as long as its elephant sized body, about 30 feet or nine meters. With four sharp spines, the tail could be used as a great club to fight off meat eaters. The stegosaurus also had a double row of triangular plates from its neck to its tail. The plates probably helped protect the dinosaur from being eaten. Some of the plates were as small as saucers. Others were as big as truck wheels. Crazy. So it also lived during the Jurassic period. Here's the Allosaurus trying to eat him. Um, and they've found fossils in Western North America. So this isn't. The Iguanodon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Iguanodon was the first plant-eating dino whose fossils were discovered in modern times. They were found in England in 1825. Iguanodons, it sounds kind of like the word iguana, traveled together in herds that grazed along the edges of swamps and lakes. Their strong grinding teeth chewed up juicy ferns and reeds. The dinosaur was heavy. It weighed up to six tons and it was 33 feet long and taller than two grown-ups balancing on each other's shoulders. So if you get your mom and dad to stand up on top of each other, it was taller than them. Um, it lived 125 to 135 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. So a little bit after, I think that was after the Jurassic period, if we look back at our timeline. Um, they're found, fossils were found in Belgium, England, Germany, Tunisia, Mongolia, China, South Dakota, and Utah. Whew, and they ate plants. So they were herbivores. Velociraptor. Oh, these guys are my favorite. Velociraptors lived in deserts. It had large eyes. It may have needed big eyes to hunt at night. It probably ate lizards and other small animals. Tiny baby dinosaurs called hatchlings and eggs. Velociraptor means swift robber. This dino was smart and fast. It had a large slashing toe and hand claws. Its second toe claw was four inches long. So quite big. Uh, Velociraptor's bodies grew to about six feet long and which is about the size of a large dog, a very bad doggy, it says. So it lived 75 to 80 million years ago during the Cretaceous period and they have found fossils in Mongolia, which is about up here and or maybe here, I don't know, one of these dots, and China. And you know what its diet was, meat. They were carnivores. Triceratops. Knights in the Middle Ages used armor to protect themselves in battle. Triceratops also had an armor covered face for protection and three sharp horns. Its name means three horned head. Triceratops also had a big frill of bone. This frill may have protected the neck and shoulders from attacks, or it may have just been for show, kind of like a peacock's feathers. This dino chewed on ferns, plants, or palms, and other plants and it ate a lot of them. Triter Triceratops weighed almost six tons and was about 30 feet long. That's as big as an elephant, so it's about the size of an elephant. It also lived during the Cretaceous period, and they have found fossils in Western North America, and what do you know? It eats plants, so it is a herbivore. All right, now to some of our favorites, the Tyrannosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus was the fiercest meat-eating dinosaur. It wasn't the biggest, but it was huge. Seven tons of charging monster. At over 40 feet long, it was a smart killer with sharp eyesight. The dinosaur's head was over five feet long. Its muscular mouth was filled with 50 sharp, jagged teeth. The biggest teeth were the size of a banana. Its front limbs were strong, but they were so short, they couldn't even reach up to its mouth. Can't even reach it up to your mouth. So it lived during the Crustaceous period also. They found fossils in North America and Asia, and if it eats meat, it is a carnivore. Not the kind of carnivore you wanna run into. Ooh, this guy's cool. This is a Cynosauropteryx. The Cyner, Cyno, Sauropteryx was a bird-like dinosaur with big eyes like an owl and a narrow head like a pheasant. It was a little over three feet long. 
and about as tall as a grown-up's knee. So go up just to our knees. The Cynosauropteryx was a swift little creature that probably ate insects and lizards, as well as plants that grew close to the ground. Did you know that today's birds are called living dinosaurs? That's because they developed from small dinosaurs, like the Cynosauropteryx millions of years ago. He's got a tricky name. He lived during the Cretaceous period. They found fossils in China, about right here, and they eat meat and plants. Does anybody remember what that's called if you eat meat and plants? It's not an herbivore, it's not a carnivore, it's a omnivore. Ding, 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 ding. Why did all the dinos disappear? Did the great meteor that hit the earth kill them? Or did they vanish because of a disease? No one knows for certain. What do you think happened? All right, that's your question. Make sure you respond in the little box what you think happened to the dinosaurs. Be creative with your answer. Until next time.